Hey guys, Flay here. I'll be making this guide to demonstrate how the mechanic light wave works in Hayden Lane's Extreme. So let's get right into it. First off, what we need to know is this uh, mechanic is based on your line of sight. So after the cast, you will notice that there are three crystals that spawn on the northern side. As well as, if you can see right here, there is two waves coming up. These waves will always be on the northwest side or the northeast side. So you will uh, have uh, the northeast safe or the northwest safe. In this video, I have the northwest one safe. So everyone is going to go northwest here. As soon as these waves touch one of these uh, crystals, they are going to launch an AoE that is going to get you a vuln and do massive damage. Hence, your character needs to be barriered just outside it without getting hit by the waves as well. So for example here, we are going northwest and then we are going to hide behind this crystal. So as soon as that wave touches that, it's gonna launch an AoE and then we are going to move slightly to the left and the other wave is gonna touch the crystal there and as, as it's going on the last wave there you notice that there is uh, a lost AoE coming up but then there is three different claves that come up from Hadelin. These are role based so basically you'll have two of your healers at one crystal, your tanks at another crystal and your DPS at another crystal. It doesn't matter which strat you do for this, you could move the DPS in middle for uptime. On our first clear we just took the downtime here. So you notice that how Hadelin is claving each rolls and here after the rolls are cleaved she's gonna cast light wave again and now you have uh, these crystals spawn in uh, this manner right here going back in the video she is going to cast hero's glory which is a frontal cleave so make sure you're behind the boss here after she casts that you will notice one of the waves is going to hit uh, either the northwest side or the northeast side what you have to do is go to the middle crystal and then hide behind the crystal opposite to this one. So for example here, the wave is coming at B. We are going to hide at the southeast-ish of this side. So the AoE goes off and then we move to the left side of it and the other wave comes. We get hit but we don't get the vuln. Now this wave is going to hit the one here at southwest. So when it hits there, we are going this side and we prevent taking damage. And then we move to this side to mitigate the last one. At the very last uh, one, way before the last wave cleaves, she's going to cast Hero's Glory again and she's going to jump on one of these sides. So here, since she's going to be casting this cleave to the front, we are going to run here around B. If she was teleporting to the other side, we would be running to the other side instead. So here, you notice how we dodge this wave. We don't get hit. We dodge this cleave right here. And then the middle wave hits the crystal and we dodge the last AoE as it goes off right after the cleave. So you notice here there is another last AoE cleave right here. That is basically the entire mechanic. After this she is going to cast an AoE and the fight is going to continue. So here to demonstrate uh, the mechanic again in diagrams, basically there is going to be a wave always in the middle and there is going to be another wave at northeast or northwest. Earlier in the video, there was uh, a wave at middle and northeast, hence northwest was safe. These waves will go to this direction. 
So what we did was we went right here. We dodged the AOE based on the line of sight. So the line of sight blocked us here. Then there was a second wave, which was this one. We went a bit more up and the line of sight broke us here. And then for the last wave, we went right here. This means when the wave reaches here, the line of sight is going to block us from here. At the same time, Hydalin will be in the middle here and she's going to do her roll cleaves. So basically like Tsukuyomi, there is the healers, there is the tanks and then there is the DPSs. So now for the second light wave, basically Hydalin will be here by default. She's going to do a huge cleave all the way down. So the party should be behind her. Once this finishes, you have to quickly locate which wave is coming on the northwest or northeast side. Earlier we had the northwest side coming up first. So the group has to hide from a line of sight from northwest. Hence we went to the middle crystal and here. After that, the second wave is going to cleave the crystal right at North East here. So the group went to hide right there. And the third spot will be here. This is because when the first wave is going to cleave this crystal, it's going to hit us right here. And so we have this one as our third spot. For the fourth spot, we should come right here. However, we should also check which side Hedelin is teleporting to. Earlier, she teleported to the northwest side, so everyone went to the northwest right here. And then Hedelin teleported from here and she did a huge cleave as well as this second wave was going to line of sight cleave us to here. So this is how we resolve this second mechanic. I hope this was helpful, I apologize for these paint uh, messy diagrams, see you guys later and uh, good luck creating.